Now, with the gradual easing of restrictions, many more mourners can now say goodbye to loved ones at funerals. Until recently, there was a legal limit of just 30 people, which has left many families feeling that they were unable to share their grief. Our social affairs correspondent Fiona Landon has been to meet a widow whose husband died last year. Thank you. Gammon. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> Jason died of cancer last May, two months into the first lockdown. When Jason's body was taken away, <clears throat> everybody was wearing masks and PPEs and it just felt very impersonal. Only four members from his family were allowed to go to his funeral. Really hard because it was just the girls and I and the dog and they had never experienced a human funeral before. So that lack of community support, lack of family support, just wasn't there. We did know the clergy that ran the funeral for us, but they weren't allowed to hug us and they weren't, you know, we were all socially distanced and it just felt very lonely. Eventually that changed from six to 30. Obviously it has affected us tremendously. Usually we Muslim, we bury ours, our death as soon as possible. But with the COVID restriction, we didn't have that access easily. But now any number can gather, as long as the venue can allow for social distancing. Now it's much, much easier, more, it's a bit more relaxed and more easier, more people can attend the, fu the funerals and they can see their loved ones off. This charity works with bereaved children. They lobbied the government to remove the 30-person legal limit a month earlier than planned. I think we will sort of see later a kind of wave of all of the grief that people have kept in in this time and we'll need more services available to be able to pick people up and help them through the process. Jason died over a year ago. Because of the restrictions, you haven't yet been able to organise Jason's memorial. What toll is that taking on you? I feel like it's an unfinished business and there is a sort of locked down grief that hasn't quite been able to come out and yeah, I just feel a bit stuck. And until they can celebrate his life with others, they feel they're unable to start reliving theirs. Fiona Lambden, BBC Points West, Bristol.